Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you a few very interesting examples based on instruction formats. I have already explained you varieties of instruction formats in my previous video. In this video, I'll explain you how to calculate various parameters of instructions in instruction formats. Like in instruction formats, you may be given with size of opcode, you may be need to have a calculation of size of operands, those operands may be there inside register, it may be there inside memory, you may need to calculate size of immediate data. So all those things that I'm going to explain you by three very interesting examples in this video. Let us solve first question over here. So here in first question, if you observe, a processor is having 512 different instructions, right? So first of all, you need to mention the data which is given in question. So how many instructions are there? 512 number of instructions are there and 80 general purpose resistors. So here how many resistors are there? Resistors are 8080. A 24-bit instruction word has opcode one resistor operand and one memory operand. So what is the size of instruction? 24 bits, right? So this instruction is having opcode one resistor operand and one memory operand how many bits are reserved for memory operand field, right? So here, first of all, let me show you how instruction format is there. So in instruction format, we'll be having opcode, we'll be having one resistor operand, and second is memory operand. And question is to find how many bits are there for memory operands. So you see here we have opcode, and that is purely there based on how many instructions are there. So here, my dear students, you should understand few basic things. Like if you have two instructions, then how many opcode bits are required? Two to the power one means one bit is required. If you have four instructions, then how many opcode bits are required? Two to the power two means two bits can represent four different instructions, right? For example, if you have 16 instructions, then two to the power four means four bits are required to represent 16 different instructions. But sometimes, there can be bit trick that may be there in question. Like as if I ask you how many bits are there with 25. Then you see with 16 how many bits are required? 2 to the power 4 means 4 bits. So from 16 to 32 you will be having how many bits? 5 bits. Why the reason is greater than 16 you need to have 5 bits. Right up to 32 you need to have 5 bits. So in between 17 to 32, how many bits are required? 5 bits. So as if you have 25 instructions, then you need to have 5 bits. For example, if I tell you 50 instructions are there, then from 33 to 64, how many bits are required? 6 bits. That is how you need to understand things, right? So if you observe here, with 5, 1, 2, directly we can say, 2 to the power 9 means 512. So with opcode, you need to have 9 bits, right? And you see resistor is having how many resistor? 80 resistor. So resistor operand size will be for 64, you need to have 6 bits. For 128, you need to have 7 bits. So from 65 to 128, how many bits are required? 7 bits are required. So resistor operand is having size of 7 bits. And question is to find memory operand size. So directly we can identify that easily. Memory operand will be total size that is 24 minus opcode size that is 9 minus resistor operand that is 7. So that will be 8 bits, right? So here you can say memory operand size that is 8 bits. Let us have second question. So in second question, a processor has 40 different instructions. Let us mention the data. 24 general purpose resistors. So how many resistors are there? 24. A 32-bit instruction word has an opcode and two resistor operands and immediate operand, right? So what is the size of instruction? 32 bits. And that instruction is having opcode, two resistor operands and one immediate operand. The number of bits available for immediate operand is how much? So let me draw that instruction format here first. So first we have opcode with this, then we have two resistor operands. So here I'm mentioning resistor operand one and resistor operand two. 
and immediate operand field. So here we have immediate operand and we need to find how many bits are there with immediate operand over here. So based on data which is given over here we can identify things. How many instructions are there? 40. So for 32 how many bits are required? 5. So for 64 how many bits are required? 6. So from 30 to 33 to 64 you need to have 6 bits. right? So here with opcode you need to have 6 bits over here. Resistors are 24. So for 16 how many bits are required? 4. Why the reason is 16 is 2 to the power 4. And after 16 you need to have 5 bits up to 32. So 17 to 32 you need to have 5 bits. So resistor operand that needs to have 5 bits over here. So both of these resistor operands that will be having 5 bits. right? So we can find the immediate operand. Right. So what is the size of immediate operand? Immediate operand will be total size that is 32 minus 6 minus 5 minus 5. Right. So that is 16 bits. Right. So that is how we can identify size of immediate operand. Right. Let us solve third question. So in third question a machine has 24 bits of instruction format. So here what is the instruction size? Let us mention that. 24 bits, then it has 32 resistors, right? So how many resistors are there? Resistors are 32, each of which is 32 bits long. It needs to support 49 instructions. So how many instructions are there? 49. Each instruction is having two resistors operands and one immediate operand, right? So here we have two resistor operand and one immediate operand. If immediate operand is signed number or signed integer that you can say, then minimum value of immediate operand is how much? So here first of all we need to identify what is the size of immediate operand. Here it is not given that here what is opcode over here with this instruction. But remember my dear students, all the instructions are having opcode, right? So that is by default. So sometimes it may not be written in instruction with question. But you will have to understand that there is opcode which will be there with instruction, right? So here when you make format of instruction, then first you will have to mention opcode, right? That is by default field of instruction format. And then you see it is having two resistor operands, right? So I am mentioning over here resistor operand 1, resistor operand 2, two resistor operands are there and one immediate operand. So I have mentioned it over here as immediate operand with fourth field. So first we need to identify the size of immediate operand, right? So here you see how many instructions are there? 49. So this many instructions will define what will be the size of opcode, right? So with 32, how many bits are there? 5. With 64, you have 6 bits. So from 33 to 64, you need to have 6 bits in opcode, right? So I need to mention 6 bits that is required for opcode. How many resistors are there with resistor operand? 32. So 2 to the power of 5 means 5 bits are required with resistor operands, right? So based on that, we can identify immediate operand size. So you can say immediate operand size will be what is the total size? 24 bits minus 6 minus 5 minus 5, right? So this is 16. So 24 minus 16, that will be 8 bits, right? Now see, immediate operand, that is a signed number, right? So what should be the minimum value of immediate operand? So my dear students, you should know for 8 bits, what is the range of signed number, right? See. When you talk about range, then you should understand one thing with signed number range will be like this 2 to the power 8 minus 1 means 2 to the power 7. So minus 2 to the power 7 means minus 128, 2 plus 2 to the power 7 minus 1 means plus 127. So for 8 bits range will be there from minus 128 to plus 127. Right. So what is the size of that minimum data minus 128 as per 8 bits of immediate operand. Right. So that is how questions may be there 
and for that you should be ready there will be varieties of questions available with this playlist definitely that will improve your understanding level by level so first you need to improve your basic understanding at ground level after that you can solve some advanced questions so with respect to that level i'll be increasing complexity in future videos i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching this video